true after you spawn him. All right. Um, we do another one. So here there was another mistake. We had um, one up before instead of score thousand. So we had basically the flower mixed up with the uh, one up life. So make sure the values are exactly the same as this one for the F plus eleven. So that should be that's the flower. So it should be score a thousand um, image A R X uh, or A Y minus one because that's one higher ten frames that the flower. Um, animation has we want it to become an air tile afterwards and we want a delay of 80 milliseconds same here the exact same mistake is here except the opposite so we just all we did was mix them up something else we forgot to do here was um, have an A we used to have an A here so make sure at L you have GM instead because you want it to become a green mushroom alright once the mushrooms up then uh, so this is something we forgot totally forgot this so you gotta type this whole thing please that'd be great if you could do that basically we forgot to do the bricks um, the bricks um, collision so we're saying if if you collide from the bottom on the brick play the brick sound and start the animation of the dust from within the brick so just copy this whole thing below L that would be great you could do that so type this code um, then I'm gonna get rid of that um, just do this um, Something else we had here, the problem with this was uh, when we started walking, when we had Fire Mario, uh, basically he wouldn't do the walking animation, he would just look still. So make sure, we used to have this, if Mario, if DB Sprite image Mario equals equals Mario, what we changed that to is Fire Mario still, is what you want to have. So make sure you have that, and we've got this again in one tiny bit. So here again, so both in walking left and walking right, make sure you change that small part within Fire Mario to what I've got here. Um, Another one here. Oh, what was this one? So, um, my name is Thardex. Yeah. So, what we've got to do here is we forgot to have the um, to add the names um, i plus dot x plus that. So, make sure you put that in because um, you can't just have this because it won't work. Uh, so, make sure you have a names i dot x plus that. Um, another one we had we had this here. We had a um, yeah, we had the divided by instead of the plus, so that was a a bit of a mistake there as well. So make sure you have a plus there on the second line at right tile num. Uh, another one, you have to declare these two variables. I didn't um, understand why I was crashing, so the program will crash if you don't declare these two variables. Make sure it says int call x equals zero and int call y equals zero, not int call x by itself like that. So you will get a crash, a, a stack overflow pretty much if you don't do that. Um, Another one we had here, we had um, touching ground was equaling um, was not here. So make sure you put these two new lines in. Uh, so touching ground equals true and touching ground time equals false. Make sure these are the exact same ones I've got. Old left tile num, old bottom tile num. Now we're gonna need to do this again for another example. Um, so yeah, so this used to be bottom here. Make sure you put it at top. Do that. Another one, exact same problem here. Just make sure these two match the ones I've got to make sure you're not putting in the right one. And so yeah, make sure you have touching around timer, touching around equals true there. And um, type of collision equals top. Don't forget that instead of bottom. Um, another mistake here, we forgot to um, to add these here. So make sure you put these two, old x1, just below, um, remember control character, that's the method we're in. And make sure you put it just before old map x and old map y. Um, old x1 equals player x and old y1 equals player y make sure don't forget those uh, because those store your position pretty much um, something else we had what was this yeah so I believe this either said uh, touching ground equals true maybe I'm not too sure what this mistake was um, either way just copy this exactly as I've got it right here this line should be the only thing you need to worry about so we're gonna get rid of that something we had a problem here this was uh, blocking our jumping um, we had the that's my usual dumbass copying of stuff we had the um, I basically just copied this line onto here and that obviously I forgot to change it so we had that less than instead of greater than so make sure you have if um, DB timer minus jump start timer is greater than 720 here so we're saying once it reached uh, 720 milliseconds kill the jump um, <coughs> a mistake um, yeah, this one here, what we had was, um, we had if touching ground down here. Now, I'm pretty sure this wouldn't affect the program, but make sure um, 
instead of having it down here put it within here so after if not touching ground have if touching ground you can have else if as well if you like it doesn't really matter you can make it like this that does make a difference um, just make sure you move that up here alright yeah like I said right right here instead um, another one is yeah so uh, and am I alive equals equals true yeah we had for some reason I put am I alive equals equals true here uh, where this already gets checked so you don't want this here this is unnecessary so if you have that get rid of that please um, and that's it that's all our mistakes now uh, I know I went a bit faster with that uh, because they've been annoying me all afternoon uh, I wanted to make sure this was perfect for you guys uh, so just um, if you fix those errors test this out um, and you should have the game running so I'm going to run mine quickly hopefully I turned off the sounds yeah I did so it's just a bit freezy but that's because of fraps so it looks a bit dodgy uh, basically this is it and you should have yeah the freezing's lowering the frames per second it's screwing up my jump um, basically Oh, this looks like crap. Ah, <coughs> God. So this is pretty much it. Um, this is affecting the jump because it's lagging so much, but not lagging, freezing. But um, yeah, this is about it, pretty much. Um, I'm gonna kill this before it kills any more frames on that second. So yeah, that's it. So feel free to uh, go back a little bit and just pause it and slow motion it if you like. Um, I don't know if this video will allow to do that because some videos seem to. Anyways, so the next thing we're going to do is the uh, enemies class. So I'm going to take a break uh, until I do that because I haven't got my uh, a laptop available for for seeing the solution from. So I'm going to leave it a few hours and I'm going to continue with this. But you guys will notice that. Okay then guys, um, I am back and what we're going to do now is we're going to do the last two classes. Um, the last bit... Um, it's a little bit of code but if you get this far make sure you fix the errors I told you about so your system should be like it was a second ago when I showed you the uh, Mario example during gameplay everything should be working except for well pretty much everything should be okay except the enemies showing other than that everything will be fine alright so if you haven't got it that state make sure you fix those errors every single error that I mentioned there's at least ten or so of them so go through each of them make sure you've got your code perfect just like I've showed you the fix so I apologize apologize for that but when um, I kinda have to take that hit because when you write that much code you're gonna have this kinda crap happen um, because instead of fixing taking your time to fix things I have to rush and I have to be as fast as possible so you guys don't spend five days doing this so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna write the enemies class this isn't too bad of a class right um, it's the one afterwards with the enemy physics and movement that will be a little, a little bit more complex but all we have is these two classes left to do and then we'll be finished so what we're gonna start by doing on this so I'm gonna try and pay a bit more attention this time so uh, we have the least amount of errors possible so what we're gonna have to start and do is um, so first thing we're gonna do is the void just like all the other ones um, you put this in enemies to let it know that it's part of the enemies class create enemy okay so in case you haven't noticed it is Christmas apparently <laughs> so that will be extra fun I'm sure you guys are having fun whilst I'm doing this boring crap. Nah, this isn't boring. I find this fun actually. But then you go int um, initial y. <laughs> um, y. This is this is exactly why I screw things up because I start talking to you guys about random stuff. So I'm just gonna pay a bit more attention. So we're gonna go create enemy, and this is what we call. It's one of the commented uh, methods we. Well, actually, the functions in C++. Um, one of the commented functions we called a while back, but we hid them for now so walkers um, current walker current walker so make sure that's valid so hover over it yeah that's fine dot id equals misc dot find free sprite so we look for a free sprite to put that goomba in or walker it could be a turtle but we're not using those yet so then we go db sprite walkers so once again just copy this because you don't really um, actually you can copy this as well because well, we're mostly using this dot um, id uh, id um, db sprite ID. and we're going to position this at initial so it's the two uh, variables that we send in that's where we're, we're positioning the um, the goomba in this example obviously 
Uh, and we want the image to be a big G, which stands for Goomba, and that's what we used to load the um, Goomba image, we use a G. So once again, just paste that text, and then you say dot .x equals initial, right, x. This is very important, and this is one of those uh, bad errors that you get, not errors, sorry, that bad problems that you get throughout the map. Basically, the reason why you're using plus map x is because, um, just read the comment here, yeah, because we want to display the... Um, the Goomba, uh, for example, if we move a fair amount, so if we display him right at the start, we want to keep displaying him. But if the map changes, he's not going to move position. So what we want to do is want to add map X to that. So for example, when he initially spawns and when you get to the end of the map, he'll be in the exact same position in relation to the way the map is displayed. So if we don't have this, he's going to have one position and he's never going to move. So uh, instead of being at the end, you walk a few steps, you'll see him immediately. So that's what will happen. So make sure you have that in, and then paste this, and then we're saying dot y equals uh, initial y, initial y. Okay, uh, that seems fair to me. And then we do it again, and we're saying dot asleep equals true. Now they are asleep. This is the way the Mario games work. Anyways, this is my way of um, having them uh, spawn so when they initially spawn we don't want them dropping down and start walking already because the problem with that is a lot of them kill themselves as they're walking and to stop that from happening is we keep them still until Mario is as a certain distance from them and once he's close to them we we spawn them alright so they're asleep until then and then we we turn their sleep to false and we move them so let me say current walker plus plus so that next time it spawns it spawns a new walker okay and this is our create enemy method it's very straightforward it was taken from the code from create uh, player from the my events class um, or character events class sorry and now our next one is awake enemies now this is where we apply what I just told you about so void uh, just copy them probably be faster doing it um, by hand so void enemies awake enemies okay uh, and what we're receiving here, we're not receiving any methods, any variables. Um, so then we do, oops, go here and we do, if, um, no, first thing we do is say int distance. And now we declare this outside a for loop, uh, because we're going to have a for loop and we don't want it to be constantly declared within it, unless it has to. Int i equals zero, equals zero, i is less than max walkers, i plus plus. So we're going to go through every walker to make sure they exist. If they exist, we do something about it. So if db sprite, b sprite exists, so if that sprite exists, um, and we're going to call that, and once again, we can use this because we're going to use this a lot. So just do that. Put an i there, i, close, dot, uh, exists. Yeah, um, don't, sorry, ID, sorry, I was just looking at the example trying to find the best way of doing this. So copy that with the I dot, just just the initial part so we can constantly use it because we're going to need to use it a fair bit. So if the beast part exists, then we say if the walker is asleep, if they are, we do something about it. So asleep, if they are asleep, so they haven't been spawned yet, we're going to wake them if we if we need to. So if Mario is close enough to him, we wake him. So we say distance, and this is where we're going to use that formula I believe we created earlier. Equals misc dot get to the distance. So we check the distance between them to make sure Mario is fairly close. So we can spawn a sprite x Mario. Now you need to get these exactly as I've got, or you're going to have problems. So db, well, if I don't make mistakes, hopefully. Um, so db sprite x Mario, Mario's position, db sprite y. Mario once again, so we're checking Mario's coordinates against that walker's coordinates. So then you go DB sprite, um, oops, that's a typo and a half, sprite x, and then you put walker's eye dot id. So check that walker's position, and then we're going to do um, DB sprite y walker's eye dot id. Okay, and that should be it. So I'm just going to do this here um, so I can separate them a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to make sure this is right, so uh, sprite x, sprite y, sprite x, sprite y, make sure you've got that as well, so sprite x, y, sprite x, y, mm -hmm. that seems correct to me, so we get the distance, we return that, and then we say, if distance, 
is less than a thousand five hundred. Now, a thousand five hundred is the units in which um, 